Do we have an Ike counter? That's what everyone's curious about. Let's see what we've got in here. This is the child banner. And first up, we have Robin. All right. Robin is coming at us in clothes that are way too big for him because that's kind of the way Robin rolls. Apparently, even at a young age. We see Rally Spectrum coming in, so we know that this is basically Brave Crom, but ranged, which is a pretty good unit. Uh, so we'll do Fell War Tome first, and we get speed plus three. And when initiating or within two spaces of an ally, you get seven burn damage, which is, of course, excellent. Uh, you've got attack speed, defense res plus 16 minus foe's max special cooldown times two minimum of eight. So the lower the cooldown, the better this is going to work. Uh, you've got 30% DR from first hit. You've got null guard. And also if unit's max cooldown is greater than or equal to three and unit has an offensive special, non-special DR piercing upon special activation. Whew, special spiral. Uh, after, after combat, you've got divine flames, which is it, kind of this unit has a built-in flared sparrow, if you will, with a few extra stats. So this is good. The problem is the nukes we have right now are insane. If you're going to stack this up against someone like Leon, I, I mean, Dual Leon is, is doing a little better than this. Everything really needs burn damage. The special piercing is nice, but I mean, think about who you're up against. Our, our big numbers are Ike. We've got Alir, and we've got Altina. I don't think this unit is taking down any of those. This is still solid though. This is a good nuke and could be a secondary attacker. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what else we have here because there's some interesting things and we've got a lot of mobility in this. Um, Magic Gambit 4, and this is tough because we've recently gotten some really, really great B skills. So to, to, just to break this down, um, if initiating combat or if bow's range equals two inflicts speed res minus four. Uh, also, if unit has special that is triggered by unit or foe attacking, unit deals plus X damage. And <laughs> X equals unit's max special minus two times four, max 12, minimum zero. So then we have damage reduction from all attacks and AOEs reduced by X percent, which is unit's max cooldown minus one times 10, max 40. So you'll want to have a five cooldown special there, which is kind of like the original Gambit. Uh, this is neat and it's nice to have the AOEs. The problem is we just got Lagoo's friend and that is really, really good on infantry units, period. And I am like, if this was before Lagoo's friend, I would think this was excellent. Now that we have Lagoo's friend, I am kind of a bigger fan on that one. I, summoners, it's a... We've gotten a lot of stuff recently. Um, and then we have Tip the Scales, which is just like what we've seen. Um, you get Rally Spectrum, you get Warping Around. It's kind of a fantastic skill. Again, though, uh, the, the mobility, I'm not sure it stacks up with what nukes are right now. This is still very, very solid. We've just recently gotten some power spikes where a solid has kind of changed as far as where that level is. So we just finished saying that it takes something basically really unique to stand out. This is really unique. This unit is fascinating. Uh, this is kind of like a WOM beacon, but you don't need to go through all the hoops. I am fascinated to see how this unit gets implemented. Exalt's War Staff, you have, it's a Dazzling Staff, it's got Slaying. Um, if unit's HP is less than or equal to 60%, or if unit has entered combat, or used an assist skill during current turn. WOM4. Like, that's really, really good. So moving on. Grants Omni plus four to allies within three spaces during combat and heals them for seven HP after combat. Uh, if unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants attack res plus six, a guaranteed follow-up, and units unit deals damage equals 20% of units res, excluding AoEs which I'm not even sure you can put an AOE on a healer. I'll be honest, I've never tried. Leave me in the comments if that's possible. <laughs> Magic shield. All right, here's where things get a little interesting. Restores 50% of units attack as HP, minimum of eight, 
grants targeted ally attackers plus six and no penalties if on turn two or later also grants unit another action and restricts units movement to one effect will not trigger for two more turns upon activating skill is treated like a rally all right this is interesting and this is inheritable let's talk about a couple things here first off it's really good on this unit in particular. Uh, it allows you to get another action after doing whatever crazy healing things you do. But healers can now score in arena. There, there's a select group of people who have been waiting for this for a long time. If, you're, if your favorite is a healer, this is a chance to use them more. It's a really, really good healing skill. But the fact that it also boosts arena scoring is unique. So we've got a lot of stuff going on with this unit. Uh, what else What else do we even have here? Lights Restraint, Poetic Justice, Attack Res, Oath. So this unit is ready for arena or ready to make your healer ready for arena. That it has everything you need. But beyond that is a really good support. Every year you get the same rhetoric where <laughs> child warriors, this is so terrible, this is so terrible. And as soon as they come out, we're like, oh my God, they're adorable. And Lissa is adorable. <laughs> so, so, so cute. All right, but past that, okay. New War Axe. <laughs> this is a preference weapon on a four star so this is you know this is good uh we've got slang if unit is within three space of an ally grants bonus to attack defense res equals 25 percent of foe's attack at start of combat minus four max 14 minimum five you get tempo you get reduces deep wounds by 50 percent reduce reduces damage from foe's follow-up attack by 80 percent I, that's that's nice. And also, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 70%, deals damage equals X percent of unit's defense. When unit's attack triggers their special, if unit's HP is less than 70%, instead, heals HP equals X percent of unit's defense when unit's attack triggers their special. X equals unit's max cooldown times 10, plus 10, not AoEs. Okay. So. This is... Interesting. We've seen this kind of thing before, though, and in practice, it's not great. Like, this doesn't really push the envelope very much. What does is Defense Res Finish 3, which that's excellent, and Times Pulse 3, which you just always need Times Pulse 3 fodder, or maybe that's just me. As pre-fodder, it's excellent, and I like that for this unit. The weapon isn't going to light the world on fire. The fodder might. Like, it's it's quite good. This is what you're here for. This is a fascinating unit. And I swear to God, I thought this was a sword when I saw it first. But <laughs> Krom, Robin, and a whole lot of support. Like, this is fascinating. We're going to get into this just beast of a weapon. I do like someone in the Discord, Izzy, made fun of them having reposition just tacked down there. Like, <laughs> you, can, you can really just leave it off. We're fine with that. So, Draconic Packs. We have Slang. If Rally or Movement Assist skill is used by unit or targets unit, grants special cooldown count minus one and inflicts Hush Spectrum on foes within three spaces or three columns centered on unit's final position. Get to that in a second. If rally or movement assist skill is used by unit or targets unit after a unit has already performed an action, grants unit another action. But think about using this unit with a Krom and warping in and, <laughs> you know, to change fading them and then being able to use that unit again. That is kind of an interesting thing and almost like a little gale force that we have here on a ranged unit which is very unique and a lot of fun uh past that we have if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally inflicts omni 16 minus foes max special cooldown times two minimum of eight reduces damage from foes first attack by 30 percent null guard 
And here's where we get to Hush Spectrum, because this is fascinating. So, inflicts Omni minus five and Scowl. All right. So let's talk about the power of Scowl right now, and in particular in regards to Ike. One of the big things that Ike has going for him is Great Aether. Remember, Ike can only hit once. That's it. So if that attack can't trigger Great Aether, there's not just a ton of damage coming out of him. That's a huge, huge deal. So this unit can attack into Ike. Ike cannot kill back. If you're using this unit for that purpose, you're probably gonna want Fatal Smoke on there, but I, I'm i getting ahead of myself because we haven't even read the rest of the skill. Scowl is very, very powerful versus Ike. Let me just make sure that's known. So then we have Flare and Fell Worm Scale. And Fell Worm Scale is at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants Omni plus eight, neutralizes foes bonuses, which is very powerful right now. Lull is a <laughs> underrated skill and deals damage equals 50% of units attack during combat, excluding AOEs and heals seven HP after combat. And also, when special triggers, full non-special DR piercing. So, this is all really good, but I think it's important that we look at this unit as a support unit. Um, this is very much in that, that vein of the supportive nuke. This unit has a lot of nuking potential. There's a lot of great things that can go on, but really the support is what separates this unit from a lot of other stuff. So. Infantry null follow-up is great, but again, Fatal Smoke 4, that is going to probably be the thing you want if you're using this unit as a combat unit. If it's just purely support, then of course, Infantry null follow-up 4 is fantastic. But just keep in mind all of the stuff that this is putting on the enemy unit. This is a very, very good support. I also have to mention, and Ilya would just kill me if I didn't, Attack Speed Link 4 is really interesting. Now this is if a movement assist skill is used by unit or targets unit grants attack speed plus six and canto one to unit and target ally or unit and targeting ally for one turn. It also inflicts speed minus four and defense res minus two, minus two on foe and unit deals plus X damage during combat. X equals highest total attacks plus, plus speed bonuses among unit and allies with canto one active. <laughs> so the thing that this really does, and the, the thing that Ilya wanted to point out, is that this buffs Pivot and makes it a much better skill. So just keep that in mind, like, like Pivot is where it's at. But if you think about everything else this is doing, like this is really setting you up for a lot of fun things and giving both your team and the opponent, they're debuffing the heck out of the opponent. This is an excellent support. But we need to get to the duo skill because that's, of course, a part of everything here. This is what we want to look at. Duo skill grants rally spectrum plus dual strike to unit within seven rows and seven columns. I want you to know how big of a range that is. That is huge. So this is good. It's not the most busted thing we've ever had. And we've had some crazy duo skills. I'm a fan of not having things that are just constantly bonkers. So that that's a good thing. But let's get into the tier list and see where these units rank. All right. I but I'm begging you. Mail Robin, I'm I'm not super high on this unit, but we we just talked about it. Like we just got a huge power spike. Like I I don't think this unit comes close to Leon or Sanaki or a green. I it, he just doesn't get there. Um he's solid. He does a lot of damage, but I'm this is not a unit that I am going out and just pounding the table for. Like if, if Robin, if male Robin is one of your favorites, I think you can make this unit work very easily. Uh, I don't think he's going to be tip top of the meta though. So next up is Emerin. And the thing is the value of this unit depends on your play style. And the reason I don't have this unit higher is I don't think this unit is going to be applicable to everyone. Uh, you get up into tier zero and tier one, and I mean, emblem heroes are good for every single person. Um, I, you could probably say the same thing about Camilla and Sather as well. Emrin is going to be excellent for any kind of player phase aficionados. I mean, that's this is a very good unit 
for that. Uh, I think the uniqueness of this unit will keep her at least at higher in these tiers. Uh, but I, yeah, for certain people, this unit is going to be amazing. For others, not so much. I really like this unit in Aetherade's offense. I think she's great there. I think she's really interesting on Aetherade's defense and as a WAM beacon might be kind of hilarious. I'd, I'd like to see that work though. That's kind of a proof of concept. We've got some really interesting healers lately. As far as Lissa goes, I mean, if we were ranking these on adorability, I, she would be much higher. I like the preference weapon. I just don't think it swings anything. I've got her above Lapis because she has a preference weapon. And that means you can use her in more things like scoring for arena but I don't know that this weapon is specifically better than Arcane Devourer. Last but not least, we're gonna get to female Robin, who I think is spectacular. The, the debate there was whether she is over Camilla or not. And the thing with Camilla is you can use her in every single mode. Uh, she really does provide something for everyone. Like the, the piercing in ARO is excellent. She's an excellent nuke as well. I, it just, Cam does a lot of good things. Robin is an excellent support and I think is going to be very good in Aetherade's offense. I am not positive she's going to be good in Aetherade's defense. I've seen stuff like what she has kind of get so complicated that it's hard to incorporate. So I, I could have my mind changed. Like this is definitely a unit that could move around in that tier. She won't reach tier zero, but if I'm being honest, like the emblems will, will be pulled off into their separate tier list very shortly. If you're interested in a unit review, you should stop by the live we're having on Friday. It should be a ton of fun. Um, I'll link that right here. Uh, you can submit in the Discord. Members, you are amazing. And of course, if you're a new member, you get to skip the line there. So show us your units and I, I'd love to talk about about him for a bit. Take care and schedule an appointment with your fail just real soon.